Hey church family, it's day two of our fast and prayer. How you doing? I know that God has great confidence in your ability to press in and press through, and so do I. And so today, our prayer focus and our personal focus is on the value of the word. You know, everything that we are praying should result from what the word of God says. So we're not gonna pray our opinions. We're not gonna pray just, you know, random thoughts, ideas, wants. We are gonna pray according to the word of God. Cause scripture says that God watches over, not our word, but his word. And when he watches over his word and we're speaking his word, the Bible says he performs it in our lives. Which means if I'm praying anything other than what his purpose is, what his plan is concerning my life and others, I'm praying amiss. You know, James says that if I need wisdom, I should ask of God. And that when I pray, my motive should be to pray according to his will. I don't want to receive nothing. I want to see my prayers answered. And the only way that we can see answered prayers is if we base our prayers on the word of God. In fact, Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, get your Bibles out so that you can see it underscore. These are scriptures that you want to refer to on an ongoing basis. It says, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. This word that you're committed to, remember it's praying and reading. Even if you choose to read just a verse or a chapter or whatever else that you have purpose in your heart, the word that you are seeing, the word that is coming alive in your heart, this is what we pray. So we can pray according to the word of God and we have God's promise that he'll watch over it and perform it in our lives. You say, well, what about if I don't know what his word says? That's why it's so important that we stay committed to learning what is in the Bible. It's like the will, what God has provided for us. But if you don't read it, you cannot experience all that he has provided for your life. And he wants you to have that. And I want you to have that. And so today we need to put ourselves in remembrance that God's word is a living, growing, ever expanding truth, which means you can read the word and you can read again or hear it preached and say, I never saw that. Oh, I, I saw something brand new because it's ever increasing our revelation. It's not only guides us and that it does, but it's what breaks the yoke. You know, the yokes of bondage that want to tie us up, tie us down, that make us feel heavy and, and feeling like we are not successfully navigating the life course that God designed. Reading the word will help break those yokes that the enemy would like to sink us instead of being, being sunk by the, our ignorance of the word. We're going to rise to the challenge of saying yes and amen to each and every promise. It's the word that stirs us up. You want to stay on top. You want to stay living in victory. You want your conversation to be ordered up right. Oh, you got to be getting into the word. You got to read it. You say, oh, pastor, I try, but I just don't understand it. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what he's saying. Now, will you understand every word of every verse of every chapter? No, but the Holy Spirit is causing you to grow your faith and grow in understanding. And yes, there are things that will come alive on the inside of you like it just jumped off the page into your life. And those are those power words that are activated by your faith and obedience to read. Let me say this, if you don't open the word, none of that will happen. So reading the word is your best way of seeing what God has planned for your life and preparing for this day of prayer and fasting and just praying out whatever the word says. You say, I don't, I don't know if I have clear direction. That's all right. Just begin to pray what you are sensing, the Lord leading you every day in this prayer and fast. Not only am I going to challenge you, but the Holy Spirit will challenge you. He'll put people uh, uh, as names to your mind. You will run, have encounters that will be a divine assignments. You will have thoughts and creativity that will be God induced in your life just because you're walking in obedience and because you are being tenacious in pressing in on the things of the spirit of God, 
you're going to see some breakthroughs that you haven't currently seen. Because remember, the word is not only breaks the yoke, lifts us up, but it sets us free. There are so many that just want some freedom in some area and you've been wanting it for a long time. Listen, stop thinking that it will never come. Change your thought. Remember, the word of God has got to be the thought that you say yes and amen to. And he promises that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. That's a word for you today to take hold of. Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes from hearing the word. So we've got to not just hear it once, we've got to hear it every day. So don't forget, in this time of fasting, we are praying, but we are hearing from the word of God. We're opening up our Bibles and we're spending some time in our Bibles. Listen, if your lunch break is 30 minutes, then take that 30 minutes to read and to pray. If it's an hour, then take that time you know, to read and pray. If you're planning on doing it in dinner or after dinner that the kids are down, whatever time works for you, I want you to not miss what God is saying in his word and take hold of his promises today. So get ready. You're going to have a great day and God is going to show you something brand new in his word.